In the report on page 21 of this report that was read to us, the English version, the, it was it read. Second line on page 20, we have the English version. This increasing has made higher education more accessible for everyone, especially for students. Actually, it's for especially for female students. That is how the Minister of State explained the question that was asked him. Having said that, Minister of State, Minister of Higher Education, I want to thank you for bringing out the three main missions of the university in any country which is teaching, research, and outreach. In, in developing this instrument for our future higher education, you and your, your team have done an excellent job in, first of all, looking at the embarrassing problems that face the ministry, and you have carefully addressed them in this new law. We are most grateful for the work that has been done. The concept of this bill is evident that you believe that knowledge, we are living in a knowledge-based economy, and Cameroon, with a plan of development, SND30, need that knowledge. Indeed, it's well known the world over that education and its case knowledge acquired from different levels of education can and do spur development. Indeed, I remember what I was saying by the former American uh, President, President Kennedy, he said that education, I mean, developing in all instances is spurred by technology and when I had art that technology uses science for education. And that brings me to a question about science education in our country. My former speaker he said something about that. In trying to get our educational standards meet up with the challenges in terms of um, in terms of professionalization and development, we need to groom our science base. Unfortunately, and I've had the experience as a teacher and lecturer at School of Engineering, of Develop One in Bermuda, most of our technological institutions don't have laboratories. We have the capacity not only of carrying out research, but we don't have the instruments. We have the, capital, uh, the capacity of innovating. We cannot innovate without having the equipment. And I wanted to find and ask myself, is there a possibility that governments can have a Marshall plan for equipping our laboratories? I put the line the word Marshall plan. Because it's only by doing that we can spring up the intellectual, the intellect that we have the brains. If most of our students went to graduate school abroad and shine, not because they cannot shine, one of the reasons is because here they don't have what they used to shine. Even though somebody just talked about medicine, but in terms of research, a lot of research before discoveries 
are being carried out in France, in Belgium, in the US, all because equipment are there. I repeat my question, can we envisage a Marshall Plan to equip our laboratories? That will certainly take us far in terms of development. The second thing that impressed me most in this law, which we are uh, debating, is that good notion of a national commission for uh, accreditation and quality control. I know my minister has always been thinking about that, and in applying and applying the LMD system, I can very well remember, he's been always preparing the plan of many to be out of the and I'm proud. And that can only be possible if quality is assured. So I want to thank the minister for, think, for bringing this idea of a national commission. It's different from the direction which is existing now because I envisage that not accreditation of, uh, of schools would just be driven on a really big basis, but that any person being accredited to carry out a teaching program would have the necessary tools to carry out that, uh, carry out that teaching. The other thing which I was a little bit discussed about, excuse me to use the word, is the equivalence of degrees issued from private uh, university institutes and that of the state university. More so because it has become apparent that a good number of these private institutes don't have sufficient both in quality and quantity teaching staff. I don't know what the National Commission on Accreditation and Control will do, but since it, this law has been clearly woven with a lot of provisions or regulations, I think maybe something will be done. Thank you.